There are a few key principles to keep in mind when working on inbound leads for both calls and emails. Let's look at some real world examples with Christine and Corp to see both the right and wrong way to handle inbound leads. Many new sales reps start by working inbound leads. These can be in the form of calls, emails, or contact form submissions. Because the customer's already indicated interest, working inbound leads can be a great way to build confidence before you start outbound prospecting. Customer interest plummets just two days after reaching out, so you really have to hustle to get that first touch in. As soon as the lead comes in, make sure you get the customer's attention, because if you don't, they might just end up forgetting why they even reached out in the first place. Hello, who's this? Hey, what up? Uh, this, is, this is Ross. Okay. Yeah, so, um, Three years ago, you actually entered your email address on our website, and so I thought, hey, <laughs> you know, maybe I should follow up or something, so here I am. Hello? Hi there, this is Christine. I'm reaching out about your interest regarding our CMS platform on our website. I, I know you're busy, but I'd love a moment to chat if you have that. Okay, sure. The next step of the inbound lead qualification process is setting a meeting to talk about the product. This is where the blind, broad approach of prospecting becomes more logical and precise. This second call allows you to do a quick demonstration on the product, gain information about the customer, and determine if it's worth the effort of bringing in an AE. Okay, great. Well, I guess I'll like talk to you soon or something. Gosh darn right you will. I'm excited to talk to you too. Soon, at some point, whenever. Okay, um, any idea when? Um, I don't know, man. I'm not really a big schedule guy, so I figure we'll just wing it. Okay, um. All right, bye-bye now. Our current workflow is so bad. I think we could help you out there. Is there a time that works best for you to take 15 minutes and find out how we can make your life easier? The process of discovery is learning everything about the prospect as it relates to the deal. There are many different qualification frameworks out there, but it all comes down to understanding their budget, decision-making process, and their specific business needs. Time is money in sales, and your AE's time is very valuable. So it's important to make sure that your prospect is ready, able, and willing to buy before you pass them off to the AE. So our product's actually crazy, okay? It actually helps boost productivity of entire teams. So our budget authority- Ma'am, ma ma'am, please. I'm not done talking. Did it sound like I was done talking? I don't really care who has budget authority on your end anyway. How does budget authority work at your company? Is there anybody else I need to loop in? Well, within my department, I have purchase authority. Awesome, happy to hear that it's all in your hands. Well, I'd love to show you how we could help you out. Approaching inbound leads is all about guiding prospects through the sales process. A big part of that is learning how to ask open-ended questions versus closed questions. Let's say I ask if you have budget and you say no. Great, now I have nowhere to take that conversation. But if instead I ask, what does your budget approval process look like? I could then collect information that the AE can later use to close the deal. So what do you think? Do you uh, want our thing? No. My man, that's what I thought. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> might have misheard you. Did you say no just then? What don't you like about your current team's workflow? I just think we take way too long to pass things along because we're so busy. I hear ya. That's definitely something that we could drill down on. When handling inbound leads, you're essentially part salesperson and part bouncer. You will investigate and filter inbound prospects to make sure they have enough desire and authority to be worth the AE's time and effort. If you've allayed their concerns, confirmed they have the ability to buy, and gather enough information about the customer for the AE to successfully close, then you're ready to go ahead and schedule the meeting. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. This has been truly great chatting with you. I mean, you, you are quite a gem and I know it doesn't sound like our product is a fit for you guys right now, and that's totally fine, but I'd still love to connect you with my AE. I mean, that story about your divorce? I mean, at such a young age, <laughs> he's got to hear it. So uh, I figure what? Let's just throw like a two-hour meeting on the calendar next Monday, and you guys can connect, and I'm sure you'll vibe. Really glad you reached out to us. We'd love to help you tackle this problem. How's Tuesday at 2 for a meeting with my account executive? Sounds great. Amazing. Invite sent. If you're looking for more resources for getting into tech sales, check out Provado.co. Here you'll find job placement opportunities with exciting companies that we personally vet, articles, guides, videos, our blog, which has a ton of helpful content for getting started in sales, and The War Room, a sales-focused forum where you can network with other high-performing sales professionals. Provado.co. Join the community.